Hello, everyone. This is Independent Conservative. I am Ryan Bowling. Thank you all for joining me once again. Uh, I have been wanting to do a, a video on this for a few days now, but, uh, you know, the situation during the debate, Trump said something that upset a lot of people, or rather, I'll put it to you like this. It wasn't so much it upset a lot of people, but it bothered the mainstream liberal media. I won't even say it that way. I won't even say it bothered the mainstream liberal media. I'll say they were looking for something to say because, after all, their boy Biden was a. That's just how he sounded, like that gal of Bruce Almighty, the, the news reporter Bruce Almighty. That's what he sounded like. Uh, so they had to find something, you know, to 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 get the focus off of uh, Biden, and I guess they found it because. Apparently, and I saw I saw the clip of this. I actually was I was able to listen in on this part uh, when the whole conversation of the illegal immigration came up. Trump's response to Biden was was that you allowed all these illegal aliens to come in and take black jobs, and I believe he said Hispanic jobs. And the mainstream media and Democrats just ran with that statement, okay? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by What are you trying to say, you know? And they just ran with it. Of course, he's racist against blacks. He's racist against Mexicans, Hispanics, against this people, that people. Okay. Let me start off by saying this, because I've been wanting to say this for the longest. Everybody that knows Trump knows that Trump is not the best public speaker. He's not. He's not very good at using the best words when he, go, he does his debates, when he does his speeches. He's not, the, he, he's not very good at using the right words. Trump is not a polished public speaker like all of these politicians are. OK, these politicians are trained in public speaking. They're trained in rhetoric. It's a difference. They're trained in rhetoric. They know how to gaslight the public and make the public actually think that you are really doing good when you're going through hell and high water. They're good and they're trained to do that. And I'm not making it up. That's not a metaphor. These politicians are literally trained to manipulate your mind and mine. Okay. Trump is not a trained pop politician. He's not great at public speaking. And why do I say that? Because clearly he's used the wrong terminology to refer to these type of jobs, okay? But the accusation that he is racist by saying it is a bunch of bull crap. I don't see that at all. Here's what people are perceiving, you know, from the, from the get-go. They're saying, if you're saying now, these, these illegal aliens are taking black jobs and taking Hispanic jobs and stuff like that, then what you insinuating, according to the way that the way the progressive Democrats and, and the liberal media is perceiving it or spinning it, is what you're saying that black people are only good for these kind of jobs, Hispanics are only good for these kind of jobs, Mexicans are only good for these kind of jobs, that these people are only good for these kind of jobs. Is that what you're saying? No, I don't think he's saying that at all. What I believe Trump meant by that, even though he did not choose the best words, was that. These illegal aliens that come over here are taking jobs that are, are low, taking low skill jobs that are mostly taken uh, and, and, uh, and uh, grabbed, if you will, by low skill blacks and low skill Hispanics. It isn't because these people are inferior or, or less than or they're only good for these kind of jobs. It's just that a lot of these jobs are low skill jobs. And unfortunately, a significant number of blacks and Hispanics uh, and non-whites take these jobs, but mostly blacks and Hispanics take these jobs because they don't have the skill level for more prestigious jobs. That's what Trump really meant to say. But the term he used, uh, black jobs and Hispanic jobs, was not the best term. Why? Because, because Trump is not the best public speaker. We all know that. Trump would just tell you what's right off the top of his head. But I don't believe at all he was he was belittling blacks and belittling Hispanics and belittling other non-black people at all. So I wanted to say that because 
Uh, the mainstream media, they love to pick up on little things. They love to pick up on little things. They, the mainstream media and the, and, and the progressive Democrats love to do that because they have to find something to horn in on. Because once the mainstream media horns in on something, okay, there's only a few mainstream media outlets, if you will. And once they horn in on something, if enough people are watching it and listening to what these dirtbags are saying, okay, getting paid tons of money to say, even though they're still dirtbags, in my opinion, because you have no integrity and no moral values. Money is your God. Uh, and your God is money. Uh, 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 it becomes the number one topic in the country. I mean, if you take something, you the mainstream media can take an isolated incident. Okay? They can take an isolated incident. Name it, whatever it may be. They can take it. And they could focus all their attention on that isolated incident. No one ever heard of it. You know, the monkey Moponimus rumping, running down the street, you know, and maybe, maybe Boo Boo in, 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 in the neighborhood never, with, with no name, saw a monkey Moponimus running down the street. And the monkey Moponimus got hit by a car. You know, all of a sudden, nobody cares about it because the monkey Moponimus was just a monkey Moponimus. Nobody cared about it, you know. And the mainstream media somehow gets word of it and, and grabs it and takes it and, and talks about it all day, every day, seven days a week, constantly focusing on the monkey moponymous, the monkey moponymous, the monkey moponymous. Today, people, uh, unfortunately, we had an unfortunate event. You know, a monkey moponymous got, got, monkey moponymous got hit by a car and it died, you know, and, 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 and then the reporters and journalists, the way they... The use the tone of their voices and expression on their face, all that is added to trying to reach the minds of the public that watch that nonsense. You get my point. The point is they'll blow something up that doesn't need to be blown up. All it's about is, 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 is deciding to focus on a particular subject and stay on that particular subject and at the same time omitting other subjects. A lot of times it's not what the mainstream media says is what they don't say. It is often sometimes what they say and how they say it, but a lot of times it's what they don't say and it's what they don't focus on. Out of sight, out of mind, I've said that before. But in this situation, in mind, because they're going to keep focusing on it, focusing on it, focusing on it, trying to make it look like Trump is being racist. No, in my opinion, he was not being racist. That's, that's foolish. No, he was not. No, 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 no. It's exactly what I personally believe he meant by it. I think that in the next debate, I think that uh, Trump's advisors should help him develop his um, speaking skills a little bit better, help him to use words a little bit better so you won't offend these very, very sensitive people. Oh, my God, you're just so racist. Oh, my God, I don't know what I'm going to do. How does this, you're just so racist. You're just so racist. You know, I think that they should do a little bit, spend a little bit more time with Trump, helping him to develop his his speaking skills said, you know, man, those are not words you should use. You know, people are very sensitive. The Democrats are going to jump all over it. The mainstream liberal media is going to jump all over it. I think these are the words you need to use. Uh, now, the parts that I did see in, in the debate, I saw that Trump did do well. He was very controlled, even though Biden was telling a bunch of lies, lie after lie after lie after lie. Bringing up stuff that happened 850,000 years ago that most people, if they got a brain, then forgot all about, okay? The only people that's going to remember it is people that keep watching CNN and MSNBC and the rest of these lying media outlets. People that forgot about Biden keeps bringing it up. No, no he did not do well in that sense. Uh, but Trump, I, you know, I do believe, based on what I have seen in the debate, that he did much better than he did in the debate with, uh, in 2020. He was posed, he was together, but I think in this instance, he didn't use the right words, not because he was being racist, he just didn't use the right words. So the whole idea of him being racist and, and saying, well, and, and, and insinuating that blacks are only good for these kind of jobs and whites uh, and, and uh, Hispanics and so others are only good for these kind of jobs, I don't believe that's what he meant at all. Right, he could that would have been a better way of him saying it would have been like you know the, the illegal aliens are taking the jobs that are mostly taken by a lot of blacks and Hispanics. That would have been a better term for, to use versus the term black jobs and Hispanic jobs. You say black jobs, that's what that suggests. When you say Hispanic jobs, that's what that suggests. If you say white jobs, it suggests certain certain kind of jobs that you that 
people who are not really discerning would think, oh, these are jobs only white people get. These, these are these are jobs only white people get. These are jobs only this group of people get. These are jobs, you know, and, and it doesn't, it, it tends to, if people don't read it right, it tends to suggest racism, but it's not really racism. It's what people focus on. And in these incidents, in this particular instance, it wasn't a matter of being Trump being racist. It was a matter of him using the wrong words at the wrong time, okay? And people just taking it and twisting it out of context. But that's not what he meant by that. So I hope and pray that the, the, the vast majority of Americans and people that are watching that nonsense will not just take that and be like, oh, yeah, man, he just, oh, my goodness. You, you just, oh, you just so racist, Trump. You're the worst person in the world. My God, my God, my God. I hope they don't take that. But I wanted to say that. I wanted to, I wanted to give a detailed analysis of what I thought about when he said black jobs and, you know, the, the uh, legal aliens are taking black jobs and, and uh, 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 Latino jobs, they're taking these jobs. And I don't think he meant that at all. That's what I'm saying. What I'll show you what he meant is what he meant, in my opinion. So I think people should, should, should bypass that and go on. If you decide you want to vote for Trump, Trump, vote for him. Don't allow that kind of stuff to poison your mind and poison your perception and poison your brain to make you think a lot, a lot of nonsense. But that's my spin on it. What do you guys think? You think Trump was being racist? Or do you think he was just using the wrong words and terminology to refer to something else? Um, I don't think he was being racist at all. I just think he wasn't using the best words to describe what he was truly, really trying to describe. Because as I said in, in, in this video, Trump is not the best public speaker. He's not really good with public speaking, although he speaks a lot of facts. Like, for example, Trump, let me say something else about Trump and not being the best public speaker. We all know Trump tends to exaggerate. He does. He tends to exaggerate. Like uh, when he was during the debate, he was like the economy he was like uh the, the economy just it just doubled and quad the economy just uh, inflation just doubled and then quadrupled and tripled and quadrupled no it didn't do all that it may have went up but you know quadrupled and all that now somebody may argue well, he's just exaggerating he just make you know how verbal he's just exaggerating maybe maybe not but we all know uh, that Trump tends to exaggerate i've listened to him quite often and he does tend to exaggerate a little bit um but I would rather have that little small exaggeration, you know, of little things where he tends to exaggerate on situations that are not super important than to get up here and be a persuasive liar like all these politicians are and get people to believe that everything is OK when you are going, you literally burning in fire, burn, the fire burning your skin off and a politician gets up and say, no, it's not. That's just the sun burning a little bit on you, but you ain't burning. Your skin literally falling off your freaking bones, and they telling you you're not burning. The, pot the skilled politicians are good with rhetoric and gaslighting. Trump isn't. He may not be the best person in terms of pu public speaking, but he's going to tell you like it is in your face. That's one of the things I admire about him. He may not be all that articulate, but he certainly will tell you the truth. He will definitely tell you the truth. That much I admire about him, and I think a lot of Americans, sensible Americans, would look past all of the you know flaws that he has and really listen to what he's actually saying. They would agree as well. Uh, but yeah, that's what I had to say about that. What do you guys think about what Trump said? Uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all. See you again.